Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone is doing well on this Monday morning. I've got an exciting video for you guys today. We are going to be picking up a new piece of equipment today. Yep. And it ain't a small one. <laughs> um, this mower right here. We got this one. I guess we've used it for like two years. It's a 2005 model, so it's pretty old. But at the start of this year, it started using oil, and we've been having an electrical problem with it. It's not been one to, it keeps draining the battery for some reason. And it's also been hard to start. Also, let me show you this. We got our little rigged up muffler pipe here that I had to do because of, this isn't the original engine for the mower. It's a bigger engine, and so the, it's a different style. So the muffler that would go on that would not fit over this bar right here. So we kind of had to get some flex pipe and rig up our muffler on there. I actually used to have it just sitting right down there on the deck and it ran underneath that, but that didn't work out very well. So I eventually got it set up like this and it's worked really good like that. It, you know, it's not real tight on the seal, but also we just been having trouble with the frame. It's kind of started to fall apart. I'm not going to tell you what we're getting yet. You're going to, I'll let you wait and see and be surprised. So we're going to be heading to the dealer later on today or later on this morning sometime. Um, I will tell you this, it's, we're going to get a 62 inch. Both of these 52s were uh, not a 62, a 61 inch. So we've got several um, large fields that we do. So a 61 inch would be really helpful for us. And we just got another um, commercial property that's got a couple, like, two big fields on it. So that's going to be really helpful with that. All right. Well, I will see you guys a little bit later. Okay everyone, so we just left the dealer, and let me show you what we got here. We got a brand new Skag V-Ride 2. It's got the Velocity Plus deck. It's got a brick to Strat Vanguard, 37 horsepower engine, EFI. That means it's electronically fuel injected. Um, This thing is brand new. It's got 0.3 hours on it. <laughs> um, so, I am very excited about this. Um, this is something we've been kind of just talking about and thinking about for a few weeks. And we finally decided this is what we need to do. Replace our old right. It was starting to kind of fall apart more maintenance than it was worth. Um, just kind of walk around it a little bit. It's got, what, an eighth of a tank of gas? <laughs> Once we get home, I'll probably do a more thorough walk around, but we're right sitting here in Lowe's parking lot right now, so I can't really, it's kind of noisy. But, got this flap here. Held up by a little piece of wood. And I did mean to get some footage at the dealer, but I kind of forgot about it, you know, got kind of excited. But I had intended to video me pulling it up on the trailer, but you know, just in the moment I forgot. Oh well, I'll just remember to do it next time we buy a new mower, <laughs> which hopefully won't be anytime soon. I was real happy with the dealer, with the dealer that we used, they were real easy to work with, just did a really phenomenal job. They also gave us a, the first free oil change, or the oil and the filter to do it, so that was really nice. Alright, we're going to do a little bit of mowing here in a minute, and I'll probably try to get some footage of that. But, yeah, that'll be all for right now. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey, I thought I'd, since 
I'm sitting here in Lowe's parking lot. I've been here for like, I don't know, 45 minutes. I'm sitting here waiting on Dad. He went inside the store. But thought since I was sitting here, uh, I'd talk for a minute about, talk about why we're switching from, why we bought a Skag instead of another Wright. Um, a big reason is because we've discovered that Wright's decks are not um, very good as far as their cut quality. They bog down really bad in wet conditions or weeds, and they don't just—they just don't leave as nice a cut. Now, Skag um, is very well known for their Velocity Plus decks. They're very good decks. They leave a really good cut, and they don't get bogged down near as bad as the rights. Or, I mean, we haven't used it yet, so we'll see. But apparently, it's not, they're not supposed to really bog down in wet conditions. But so yeah, we're real excited to see how it works. Um, another reason is because of dealer support. There's the nearest right dealer is like three hours away, I think. Yeah, I think it's in Texas somewhere, or maybe it was Louisiana. I, no, I think Louisiana was the closer one, somewhere near Shreveport. Um, but when we needed parts for the mower, we couldn't. We had to order them online. It, sometimes take five seven days to get here especially with COVID and everything it was taking even longer so with um, having the dealer in here in Texarkana which we do most of our mowing 30 minutes from Texarkana but we do some here in Texarkana and so we'd have a dealer close by we could they would most likely have parts the your typical parts that go out frequently so belts and stuff like that you could get them in pretty quick so that's the main reason why we're switching. And so right now we got one Skag and one right. I mean, we still got the other right using it kind of as just a backup mower right now. Not sure exactly what we're doing that yet. We're gonna sell it or what. I mean, it's gonna get much for it. It's for if we're gonna try to fix it up and continue to use it as a backup mower. I'm not, we're not sure yet. All right, I guess that's all I got for you right now. Hopefully we can get to some mowing here pretty quick. I'm ready to get on that mower and cut some grass, you know? Cut that grass, make that cash, as Paul Jamison says. All right. All right, everybody, I'm just gonna put an end to this video here. Um, I meant to have done this. This is actually the next day um, of the rest of this video. We got home late last night, it was after dark, so I wasn't able to end this video. This is um, day two of using it, the new V-Ride. Um, we've put what, just under two hours on it now. What does it say? Two point no, almost three. Two point nine. Yep. Um, it's already dirty and nasty and dusty. <laughs> they don't stay clean very long. I mean, you see all this. 
the dust on there. Yeah, but now on this FE um, electronic fuel injected system, it's actually it so it doesn't have a carburetor. There's no choke, you know, on the control panel. It's got um, fuel injectors. Right down there. Um, it's a more fuel efficient, but it also is not as powerful as carbureted engines. But it, I mean, it's got 37 horsepower, so it's got plenty for what we need it for. Um, so, I mean, so far, I've been really impressed. I really like it. It's a lot of fun to use. The controls are a lot stiffer than the ones on the right. The ones on the right are like super loose. These are real stiff, and it's easier. To hold like a straight line for like when you're striping and stuff. So yeah, this pad is this knee pad is real comfortable, so I really like that. It's got it's the first engine I've ever had that's got an oil cooler on it. Oil runs through these, helps keep it cooler. And also, I guess I think this is probably how they do it on all the brakes and strutting. Your oil fill is right here, and you just got a skinny tube right here for your dipstick. It's typically like on the Kawasaki's. That's where you put your oil in and that's where your dipstick goes. So, I mean, the I guess the main reason we went with the <laughs> Briggs was because that's all they had. But the dealer, the guy at the dealer told us that they have had no complaints um, with these Briggs and Stratton engines and actually they seem to use less oil or no oil at all than the Kawasaki's. The Kawasaki's after a couple days, you know, you have to top them off, whatever, a day or... He said they've had engines with like over 4,000 hours on them and don't even use a drop of oil, so... We're gonna try these Briggs and Stratton engines out, Vanguard, and see how they work. I mean, we've been happy with the Kawasaki so far. I mean, except for the fact that them using oil like they do, so... We'll see how this one does. Um, and I'll probably once I get a couple more weeks um, use out of it maybe I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of these two which they're not exactly completely comparable because this is a 61 inch deck um, this one's a 52 25 horsepower or 23 horsepower no 22 horsepower Kawasaki this is 37 horsepower Vanguard electronic fuel injected so this is carbureted engine Still, we can just put them side by side and look at them and see what I like about each one, what I like and what I don't like. So, I guess that is all for now. Um, I will see you guys on the next one.